uh, best players in San Diego. Correct. It was a snake main. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to see a lot of explosions in this one. Yeah, man. And this is crazy for a round one, honestly. Cause right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like yeah. normally you'd expect maybe two players who are like, they might even be new to the tournament. But these guys have tons of experience under the belt. And they're going to show it out here on game number one. Snake versus Link, MG3 versus Arrow. Of course on Starter Stadium. A lot of people have been talking about, hey, let's switch this up with the uh, small battlefield, but I don't know if that's going to happen anytime right. soon. Right. <laughs> now, uh, PS2 is SoCal's old reliable. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you can see Arrow's trying to rely on old reliable the Boomerang to kind of get things started to get into his rhythm. Yeah. But oh. it's up to MG3, especially with uh, Snake's bomb to deploy all the, uh, the grenades right. to break up Arrow's rhythm and, and break his zone effectively. Yeah, I mean, that's what Snake's all about, right? Disrupting uh, people's rhythms. He's mostly playing from a distance with the grenades and the oh. rest of the projectiles, but he also has an amazing uh, boxing game, right? He has some of the best, like, just normal attacks in the game as well. Right now, he's got arrow cornered a little bit. Yeah, taking quite a bit of percent at the ledge. Oh. Gets caught rolling in with the up tilt at the ledge. That's going to be the stock for MG3, that was only 60% on himself. No, too. that was excellent anticipation by MG3. Yeah. He had lost control there for a brief moment as Arrow used the nair to get out of the way. This is going to be really dangerous. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, going for the two frame there with the forward smash, not going to quite connect. Arrow living yet a little bit longer, but he's nice still- Nice ball deploy, getting the boomerang, but he's not out there yet to get a follow up off of it. 50% on arrow Ooh. here. Still, though, a pretty hefty, like, good position for MG3. 123. Snake's kind of a heavy character, so you could probably still survive one or two more hits here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you just thought he was looking for the delayed up air there, and arrow denied him just in time. Arrow now has got full stage control. What is he going to do with it? Ah, MG3 escapes. Oh, that was a misinput. I don't think he wanted uh, Nikita from ledge. Or yeah, maybe he wanted yeah, something yeah. a bit more. Put him in a ton of lag. He ended up getting punished by the up tilt easily, taking that stock very securely, 112% on arrow though. Quite a big deficit, and he's gonna re-grab the ledge here. Again, MG3 punishing arrow once he finally gets past his barrage of missiles. Yeah, that's really gonna be the name of the game, as you mentioned before. He's, it's, how is arrow going to get past all these missiles? Going for the same Ooh. down throw setup again. This time, arrow waiting it out. Oh, wow. again, Link has to rely in certain situations on the bomb deployment to blow himself up, and that was just the percentage range. That's really unfortunate. But okay, I like where Arrow's starting with his stock. Managed to survive the double dash attack from MG3. He goes down deep! Oh no! Yeah. I, I think Arrow just wasn't able to self correct there. And yeah. that's all she wrote for game number one. This really solidly well done by MG3 to deny Arrow stage for most of that contest. Yeah. I, Arrow was just not able to get out of first gear, pretty much at all. Um, you know, maybe if I'm Arrow, I try to see if. I know State Snake loves Battlefield, but mm -hmm. that might be a call here, or you might go to Northern Cave because you get a little bit more open space, and maybe yeah. the ledge trap is a little less severe with the platform up there, so you can evade Snake's up smash. But I'm not quite sure. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like he ended up picking Town and City, so he's going to opt for a stage with much bigger blast zones, but also a much wider playing field, and the layout changes throughout. Maybe the two platforms, being where they were, were more beneficial for MG3 than they were in Arrow. This that also does nuke Snake's up to kill yep. range. Very true, yeah. It doesn't higher. connect on the platforms like that. And also how high the blast zone is. Right. Yeah. True. Oh, he's got the he's got the bomb on him. He's trying to air dodge away from it. Ah. Nice just to detonate it anyway. 68% now onto Arrow. Getting caught up on platform a little bit, but Arrow wasn't able to punish him. Oh, here we go. Here's something. Can Arrow cook up a devious plot here. Take MG3's first stock. Not quite. MG3 fights his way back on stage. The bombs are off. He manages to nair to oh. stymie Ooh. his back air, but Ooh, good evasion here by MG3. And he's able to force away with that back air. Wow, the bomb actually saving him. Yeah. The remote bomb. I mean, coming Link through. has to rely on that as a safety hit, like precaution. Oh, 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 oh okay. what, a, what a mix up to okay, the other side of the stage. <laughs> hey, that's how you know you're good with Link, because if you mess that up, you're just straight up dead. dead. <laughs> like, a lot of oh, confidence. Oh, man. You can see that Arrow was counting on his Nair, which is usually Link's impregnable neutral tool. Oh, okay. <laughs> to survive that interaction, he wasn't able to deal. He wasn't able to survive the up tilt. Right now, that's the... Oh, oh okay. Barely <laughs> manages to take the stock there. Really good position for Arrow, only taking 22% on that second stock. 
He always tell like MG3 is trying to hold on long enough for that, that snake death call and all the Metal Gear oh, yeah. Solid games. The snake! Snake! Yeah. He's trying to hold on for that. <laughs> Here oh. comes the boom range though. Uh, we're straining explosions right now as Harrow tries to hold court in center stage. MG3 is the down tilt. Good job. He's able to push Arrow around a little bit more. Okay, gets him with the remote bomb. Doesn't get much of a follow up off of it though. You yeah, gotta be really, really good at following up off the bow. Uh, no, that's how Link gets his stocks, yeah, is yeah. he's able to fall up off of these, like, yeah. glancing blows. And, and, you know, MG3 has done a really good job of making sure he's not in position to be, like, you know, combo, effectively. Yeah. Arrow ah. managing to barely find his way up with that uh, get up attack, but just thrown right back off. And it's like these lingering projectile hitboxes that are just absolutely messing with Arrow's rhythm. MG3 right now, very much in control. Oh, 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 he's trying to fake him out! Dashing in the shield. <laughs> okay, Arrow responds back with the forward smash, though. The second hit connecting. Yeah. And now Arrow with his first lead of the set. And Arrow had absolutely no time for that. That was veteran presence there. That was such a good mindset to have in that yeah. situation. Oh, my gosh. I, I know I would have been I called panicked. out. I panicked. Yeah. I panicked. <laughs> All right, is this gonna, oh, he looked at he's still surviving here. Not gonna be able to nair his way out of the Nikita situation, though. Now MG3 has evened things up. But immediately, Arrow picking up right where he left off, trying to fence center stage off from MG3. Still working at it. Yeah, last stock a piece for both players here. Slight deficit on MG3. But that means practically nothing, honestly. Just the glancing trades that Snake kind of gets throughout all of his games. Arrow yeah. do. Arrow just content yeah. to sit back Sustaining and jump that. and allow his projectiles and boomerang to really control everything. Yeah. Okay, gets him with the jabs into the remote bomb. Okay, oh, what forces a grab. the air dodge into the grab. I like that. The Setting up the ledge, at ledge. Oh, he's looking for that big dash attack yeah. two-frame kill, which often yeah. is like links. That was really smart, too, to put the bomb there, because I, I imagine that actually um, extends his hitbox, right? It Delays does. that hitbox. Boomerang, no fair. Good job by MBJB3. To oh my gosh, that up smash has been scooped. That might have been enough to like force a reversal for MG3. Big dash attack here for fair. Interesting. It's not going to work, though. Okay. All right. Forward Good. throw, yeah. Now oh. Arrow's got prime position to take care of MG3 stock again, but oh, the Cypher actually extending MG3's time here in game number two. Oh, Whoa! into the bomb. That's it. Do it. Nice. Arrow. <laughs> Taking a game, evening out the set. We're 1-1 one, one here in our very first set of tonight's MSM, the last chance qualifier. That's exactly what you want to see. You want to start off with the game yeah. three. At least I always do. And for once, the uh, data. the Michael Bay-esque yeah. kind of uh, matches that Snake winds up playing actually <laughs> was to his de yeah. de detriment yeah. in game number two. Yeah, Arrow did a really good job of adapting there, kind of maintaining that pace a little bit more, playing a little bit less aggressive, I would say. Definitely using the tool, uh, the tools that Link has at his disposal. All right, now we're on Smashville, which is really interesting when we're talking about a zoner versus like a trap zone breaking character because effectively Smashville has the most yeah. um, significant center stage of any legal stage right. in the game. It's yeah, gonna be interesting to see platform. who controls it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and you can see MG3 is actually starting to dip use that strategy as well by placing the bombs on the grenade, oftentimes even two, two grenades on the platform. A good down air force here, reset the ledge trap situation. Oh, he got caught mashing the, he preemptively up smashed there, so he wasn't able to anticipate arrow or react to it. Arrow right now, good parry out of the back air there. It's gonna give him just a little bit of damage, but MG3 trying to chase down arrow. Eats the big bomb though. And now, Oh man, you can see Arrow is trying to get some of his more concrete oh. setups to work. Ooh, the Nair just barely managing to sneak out of there. Oh, he gets put the bomb on, back throw oh, into man. the C4 is going to take the stock. Yeah. MG3 moving up ahead now. That was such a good mix up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because he, he didn't do it any of the other times where he ran up on his shield exactly. like that. So he's like, oh, you're actually just going to sit there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this opportunity to put the yeah. bomb on you. Maybe it's a signal that MG3 hasn't been deploying his grab game that much, which a lot of... Oh. oh. All right. He's really starting to pick up on uh, Arrow's shield, shield habit. But yeah. look at Arrow masterfully anticipating the bomb was going to get blown up and actually using the ledge roll invincibility to not suffer the C4 explosion. Right now, yeah, though. Really great move by Arrow. We're back into chucking mode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, oh. that's what these characters do. Yeah. You see how Link's up tilt has the hitbox behind him. Ooh. And again, Arrow getting the, the remote bomb uh, explosion there to uh, succeed in getting rid of MG3's stock. 
Dash attack, putting Arrow back off stage. How will Arrow survive? Oh man, right into the up tilt, and it's basically a reset of his ledge trap situation. Yeah, it's uh, pretty hard to get it through those up smash. I mean, that's Snake's a really, really strong tool to just up smash at the ledge there. Right. It covers a lot. Oh, that dash attack, forcing Arrow off stage yet again. The team is gonna do it. All right, Arrow down to his last life here. One last chance to make something happen, and two fresh stocks for MG3. All right, that was a really good sequence from Arrow. He's got to get more of that, though. Yeah, tacked on a good 50%, really not a bad Oh, he decision. parried the second hit of F Smash. What balls by <laughs> MG3 there. Oh, another explosion. Arrow anticipated the air dodge, but the boomerang didn't come out early enough. Another bomb drop. He tosses it up. He's going to be able to capitalize. Not quite. He's yeah. a little unlucky. He's going to need a little more distance on that bomb toss. Good use of this, the uh, aerial area, basically, by MD3 to survive that sequence. And now, man's just looking for any situation where Arrow drops his shield. Yeah. And that's where he's going to make his money. Okay, how's Arrow going to make this back? 62% on his last stock, MG3 at 114. Yeah. Uh, if he can get one good read, he should be able to take the stocks here with the smash attack, maybe even in forward air. Oh, oh okay. okay. MG3 thought he was safe with that back air. Not quite going to be the case. Arrow has new life here. Let's see if he can figure yeah. out a way to withstand MG3's heavier offensive. This is totally doable. I mean, as we saw with one single sequence, he was able to get 50% on that last stock. You can recreate that right oh. here. He'll be in a even game situation. Oh, no, that's ah. going to do it. Yep. Uh, he thought he was going to be able to just get by the Nikita there, yeah. but the hitbox just wasn't the kind that it was 